Hello, and welcome to Art With Me, Katie Cordy. As a part of our Fancy Farm Animal series, I'm going to show you how to create a basic pig body that you can dress up however you would like. All right, so our first step is to take whatever we're drawing with and create a large, almost ghost-like blob. This will become the body of our pig. And then on either side, using a leaf-like shape, we're gonna create an ear. And if you want, you can create whoop, the insert ear too. And then an eye and another eye. And a circle for the nose. Now I like to add expressions sometimes to my animals. So I'm gonna make this guy look questioning because he looks like he's kind of confused. And I can choose to give him a mouth or not. I think I'm gonna give him a mouth that adds to his confusion a little bit. And then comes the fun part of what will he wear? So for this questioning kind of fellow, I think I'm going to put him in a suit. So I'm going to draw a curving line. And then I'm going to make the top of his tie square. The rest of the tie the triangle at the bottom. And then to make the collar, I'm going to come down from the top of the tie on either side and then make this almost like a triangle and bring it up. No, not a perfect triangle. <laughs> it's got four sides after all. And then I can either leave the suit open or closed. I'm going to close it. I'm just going to whoop, like that. Maybe add a pocket square because pocket squares are fun. Two little triangles. And then I can either choose to give him no arms or arms. I think I shall do arms. You may see Juniper's tail in the corner of my paper now because she wants to look out the window. And because he looks questioning, I'm gonna take two straight lines and then another two straight lines to put his hands on his hips. Because you know what? He's just a little confused. If I want, I can... There we go. Put cuffs on his suit jacket. And then I'm going to begin the coloring part while I think of a background I feel like is fitting for my questioned businessman. Okay, at this point in time, now I have my colored in pig. I decided not to give him a hat because
because, you know, I just didn't feel like a hat today. And our businessman pig, I feel like he would probably live in a city. So I'm going to put a city background for him. Let's see. First of all, in a city, there are buildings. So buildings can be really any shape, but maybe he lives in a big city. So I'm going to draw... Sorry, table. I'll have to see if I can get that off later. I'm going to put one building behind him there. Another building behind him there. And of course, these buildings are going to be fairly close up. That's why I'm drawing them at 10. If I wanted them farther away, then I could just draw them in crayon. And then I like cities with some greenery in them. So I'm going to put a tree or two. Maybe some greenery down here, too. A nice bush. But I might want to have... Mm, let's see. What else are there in the city? Bus stops. Stop lights. So, maybe I'll put a stop light over here. Who knows where the cars are? Or how the pigs drive them? But it exists. So since I obviously have a road here, I'm going to make a road now. So it'll be the sidewalk. Now it'll end up being the road. And then I'm going to put some windows on my buildings. Maybe put a satellite. I could put the people in the windows. And then if I am concerned about the pig falling, uh, blending in too much of the background, I can thicken the lines around him to make him stand out more. And this works whether you're using pen or pencil or whatever your drawing implement may be today. And I'm just going to thicken the lines around him, not the ones inside. And I might not thicken them all the same length, their thickness. That way certain parts of them stand out better. There we go. And now I can color in the background.
our corporate piggy man.